Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to show you how we can use Gaussian signal to remove noise. Okay, so first of all let me create one noisy signal. So CLC clear all, close all, winding off. Okay, X equal to Danden. I am generating AWGN type signal. Okay. So suppose 10,000 length I am generating. Let me show you the signal plot X. Okay. So my signal will look like this completely random. We can clearly understand. But see it is actually concentrated in between minus 3 and 3 roughly we can say. Now suppose I want to make this particular noisy signal go to high value somewhere then go to low value somewhere like that. So what we can do? Uh, to make like that, I am just showing you this technique. It is not necessary that that particular signal only can be filtered using Gaussian uh, signal. I am just showing you for the uh, implementation purpose or just one technique that you can remember and apply in your own digital signal processing related project. Okay. So suppose you want to make such signal which will increase somewhere then decrease. Okay. But that will be noisy kind of trading graph. Okay. What we generally see. So to make that you can use cumulative sum approach because see this signal is completely random array. Now if you take cumulative sum what will happen it will add all the terms previous to it also right. I hope you know what is cumulative sum from the statistics for engineering or probability theory and statistics course in your engineering syllabus right. So basically if we apply cumulative sum on this random number that particular output will also be random in nature but it will, it, there will be ups and downs which can be uh, visualized in a good way. Okay. So what we can do the in, inbuilt function is cum sum cumulative sum. Okay. And here I will keep this random function inside this and simply apply plot of x on that. See how beautifully we are getting this kind of signal right. Now what we will do, we will create our Gaussian signal which we are going to use for removing noise. Okay, how we can go do that? So here I am going to use the way how we generate Gaussian filter for image processing using F special. Okay, let me show you G equal to F special Gaussian. Okay. Then here we need to specify the size. In image processing, we the size is basically the metric size of the small kernel. But here we are dealing with one dimension. So we will keep the uh, first one that is row as one. And I will suppose give column as 100. That is 100 length uh, base, uh, uh, one row it will be giving us. Okay. I hope you can understand. If the matrix is 1 plus 100, that is 100 columns will be placed in a single row. Okay. So as a result, this will fulfill our purpose for applying Gaussian filter in one dimensional signal. Right. And then we have to specify the sigma value because in Gaussian signal, sigma is one of the most important parameter as I have discussed. Suppose I am taking 10 for the time being. I will later change this and show you the effect of uh, changing sigma also. So this is what we have generated our Gaussian signal. Now let me show you the Gaussian signal first. So what we'll do, we'll plot this plot G. Okay, run this whole code. So this is our beautiful Gaussian signal, what we are getting. And this is our uh, random noise where we have applied cumulative sum. Okay, now we need to filter this. You can see that there are sudden changes in this signal. If I just zoom on small part, see how rapidly it is changing and rapid change is nothing but high frequency component is present inside this. So we need to remove this using somewhat low pass filtering. Obviously you know that high frequency component can be removed by low pass filter. Now the important concept is this Gaussian kernel whatever we have created or Gaussian this shape can act like uh, low pass filter. Now you may think why because uh, the reason is very simple that is if you have studied uh, signals and systems then I am sure that you have uh, studied Fourier transformation and if you take the Fourier transformation of Gaussian signal you, you will be getting one Gaussian signal only in the frequency domain right and you just observe suppose this is the shape in frequency domain what it indicates suppose uh, consider for the time being that mean value is at zero because we are not that much bothered with mean position 
so you can see that as the frequency increases it is basically decreasing right you just consider only one side of the filter you can understand that it is decreasing so it is attenuating the high frequency components right as simple as that so this will this can act like low pass filter all right so we can apply this on this noisy signal using convolution conv of x comma g okay that's all now we will plot in a new figure window plot x that is noisy signal and suppose i am specifying this as blue color okay giving one hold on plot y okay that is noise removed signal okay i am suppose specifying red color uh, noise remove signal giving little bit more line width and giving legend also so first signal is noisy signal second signal is uh, signal after noise removal okay give some title here also okay cool control a evaluate selection so three figures we will be getting see one by one figure one is original noisy signal figure two is our gaussian low pass filter in time domain okay and this is our figure three where the blue one is basically our noisy signal and the red one is basically signal after noise removal if i just zoom or make it bigger you can clearly understand that this particular red one is basically smoother version of our noisy signal see noise it is trying to uh, uh, it, it is not allowing the rapid change it is trying to remove the high frequency components right so this is how you can apply gaussian filter to remove noise gaussian signal to remove noise